In Maxwell trial defense named three lawyers it wants to question now U.S. asks to redact letter by Matthew Russell Lee Patron Song Video Ruling BBC, Decrypt, Light Read, Radio, Podcast, SDNY Courthouse, December 16, Ghislaine Maxwell, charged with sex trafficking and other charges, is amid a trial that started on November 29, after the November 23 final final pre-trial conference, vlog here. On October 29th and again on November 12th Maxell and the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York filed a flurry of motions in Lemine, heavily redacted. The government argued that trial exhibits are not public and will be withheld. Inner City Press opposed and opposes the continued secrecy. On the morning of December 10th, Annie Farmer testified on direct and the cross-examination started. Inner City Press Live tweeted it, podcast here. 8.55 a.m. live stream here, next on December 10, leading to the U.S. resting of its case, Annie Farmer was cross-examined, then her ex-boyfriend and mother testified. Inner City Press Live tweeted it here, podcast here, stand-up, Gmax sister, and circus. Late on December 14, actually, on December 15, a letter from Maxwell's lawyer dated December 13 was docketed, beginning Dear Judge Nathan. I write to alert the court to the questions Miss Maxwell anticipates asking attorneys Jack Scarola, Brad Edwards, and Robert Glassman, and to explain why none of the answers they will offer are protected by the attorney-client privilege. Full letter on Patron here. On December 15, also Maureen Comey wrote it seeming to redact, after the fact, the defense's letter. The government respectfully seeks redactions to the defendant's letter motion seeking testimony of Jack Scarola. Brad Edwards, and Robert Glassman, and the sealing of Exhibit 1 to that letter, DKT. Number 544. Full letter on Patron here, again, where is the press opposition to all this sealing, and the decision maker, from December 10th colon dot 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 Maxwell's lawyer Menninger, you don't know if Maxwell was aware whether Maria would travel to New Mexico, do you? And when Annie was in Thailand you were in Germany, correct, Sween? Yes, Menninger, no further questions. Also, the government rests, adjourned, then out into the streets, stand up, Max sister, and circus. Inner City Press has launched hash Maximum Maxwell and Mystery, bonus hash court case cast coverage will continue. More on Patreon here. On November 23rd there was a final final pre-trial conference and Inner City Press live tweeted it here, podcast here. Likewise. Inner City Press opposes censorship by the UN, which after it asked why UN Sec General Antonio Guterres head of partnerships Amir Dossal was on the board of Maxwell's Terramar Foundation was roughed up and banned from the UN. Summary here, Quinn Emanuel Lawyer's Letter Q&A here. On October 29th, after the flurry of redacted motions, Inner City Press filed formal requests with SDNY District Judge Alice and Jane Nathan, on Document Cloud here. On November 12th, while Maxwell and Dodge still redacting and a notice that after 50 people, no more would be admitted even on November 15th, Inner City Press filed again, this time, both letters were docketed, appreciated, but denied, letter on court listener here, endorsed letter as to Ghislaine Maxwell addressed to Judge Alice and J. Nathan from Matthew Russell Lee, dated October 29th, 2021, re. Timely opposition to blanket requests to seal portions of motions in Lemine, trial exhibits, public access, endorsement. The court received the attached letters via email. This district no longer permits public access by telephone for in court criminal proceedings, including trials. The memorandum can be found here. The court's public access orders for all proceedings in the case can be found here. The court has implemented a procedure for docketing filings with proposed redactions and is ruling on the proposals as expeditiously as possible. CDKT, number 401, so ordered, signed by Judge Allison Jane Nathan on November 12, 2021. Inner City Press is covering the trial, and all that comes before and after it. Hash court case cast and song I, song 2, song 3, fifth song. November 27th song December 4th song and now December 11th song. On October 18th the U.S. Attorney's Office opposed the request, saying that the voir dire questions should be asked by Judge Nathan, 
and that there should only be sidebars on sensitive questions such as those that relate to sexual abuse and media exposure. Full letter on Patreon here. In a conference on October 21st on that as scheduling issues, Judge Nathan denied a request to seal. Inner City Press Live tweeted it here, podcast here. On October 22nd the draft jury questionnaire was unsealed and Inner City Press has immediately published it on its document cloud here, including have you or a family member ever supported, lobbied, petitioned, protested, or worked in any other manner for or against any laws, regulations, or organizations relating to sex trafficking, sex crimes against minors, sex abuse or sexual harassment? Photo here. After the death of Jeffrey Epstein in the MCC prison, on July 2 acting U.S. attorney for the SDNY Audrey Strauss announced and unsealed an indictment of Maxwell on charges including sex trafficking and perjury. Inner City Press went to her press conference at the U.S. Attorney's Office and asked, doesn't charging Maxwell with perjury undercut any ability to use testimony from her against other, bigger wrongdoers? Periscope here at 2307. Strauss replied that it is not impossible to use a perjurer's testimony, but how often does it work? At 3.30 p.m. on July 2 Maxwell appeared in the U.S. District Court for the District of New Hampshire before Magistrate 8 Judge Andrea K. Johnston, Inner City Press Live tweeted it here. Also Live tweeted bail denial of July 14. Here, in the July 3rd media coverage of Maxwell, media all of the world used a video and stills from it of Maxwell speaking in front of a blue curtain, like here. What they did not mention is something Inner City Press has been asking the UN about, as under UNSG Antonio Guterres with his own sexual exploitation issues exclusive video and audio, it got roughed up and banned from the UN, Ghislaine Maxwell had a ghoulish United Nations press conference, under the banner of the Terramar Project, here. On July 5, after some crowdsourcing, Inner City Press reported on another Ghislaine Maxwell use of the United Nations, facilitated by Italy's permanent representative to the UN, UN official Nikhil Seth and Demir Dossal who also let into the UN and in one case took money from convicted UN briber Ang Lap Seng, and Patrick Ho of Sefk China Energy, also linked to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. At the Ghislaine Maxwell UN event, the UN Deputy Secretary General was directly involved. List of, some of, the participants on Patreon here, Inner City Press has published a phone of Maxwell in the UN with Dossal, here, but the connection runs deeper. Dossal with 25 years of UN involvement was on Terra Armor's board of directors, one of only five directors, only three not related to Maxwell by blood and name. The directors, Ghislaine Maxwell, Christine Maulina Maxwell, Stephen Haft, Christine Dennis Nand, Amir Dossal. Inner City Press is publishing this full 990 on Patreon here. Dossal has operated through the UN Office of Partnership, with Antonio Guterres and his deputy Amina J. Mohammed here, and the links to the world of UN bribery, including Antonio Guterres through the Gulbenkian Foundation, runs deeper, more to follow. Antonio Guterres claims he has zero tolerance for sexual exploitation, but covers it up and even participate in it. He should be forced to resign, and or have immunity waived. Terramar has been dissolved, even though Maxwell's former fundraiser, director of development Brian Urisitz still lists the URL on his, protected, Twitter profile, also here. But now Inner City Press has begun to inquire into Ghislaine Maxwell's other United Nations connections, starting with this photograph of another day's, or at least another outfit's, presentation in the UN, here. While co-conspirator Antonio Guterres has had Inner City Press banned from any entry into the UN for two years and a day, this appears to be in the UN Economic and Social Council, ECOSOC, chamber. We'll have more on this and on Epstein and the UN. Watch this site. The case is US v. Maxwell, 20 CR 330, Nathan. To find out more, please follow the links on screen and in the description. Together, let's make sure justice is served.